Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you're good. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions and you're watching my fourth vlog I think it is. Today I'm up in London um, and I'm at Westfields now currently um, and then I'm going to hit two, maybe three Lego stores today. So I'm going to do the one at Westfield in White City and then I'm going to go to Leicester Square and then if I can't get everything I need then uh, I might head to Stratford as well but we'll just see how much time i got. Um, I'm here to get pick a brick to fill those Disney cups that I've been getting so uh, that's why I need to hit a few different stores hopefully get plenty of different pieces so yeah let's uh, let's go to the first Lego store. I always forgot when I come to these shopping centres that I can check out John Lewis but uh, it doesn't seem like they've got much. Some Harry Potter stuff there inside some old Lego movie stuff Disney got Avengers there create stuff but nothing I don't think I'm going to pick up Speed Champions Ninjago Star Wars got one advent calendar left I want to try to get that for like £20 but yeah Mario um, the one thing they do have that I might pick up, I can't see a price for it at the moment, is passenger train. I really want that at some point. Might end up getting that today if it's for a decent price and some track to go with it. But uh, yeah, I want to motorise the hidden side train, so I've got the train. I just uh, just need the power function stuff, and I think that works out just as cheap. But I will uh, I'll price it all up when I'm in the Lego store. But I might be getting that today. But yeah, not much. Let's uh, check out the Lego store. First time seeing the cantina. Oh man. This looks so cool. I can't wait to have this one day. Those stormtroopers look awesome. So those figures. Oh, all of it's awesome. One day. One day. Surprised that they've still got this in stock. It's almost tempting to walk out with another one. But I spent far too much money on the train. Oh, the Lego store is not healthy for my bank. And they've actually got battle bags as well. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe. So they got all the Christmas stuff, Christmas brick heads. Um, these baubles are really cool. I might pick up some of them at some point. And then you're getting a couple of wreaths because I want to make them bigger. I want to see if they join together well. Um, but yeah, some of the Christmas stuff looks awesome as well. But yeah, definitely going to get pick up a couple of the wreaths. And uh, yeah, I've seen at the pick a brick wall what I want, so I'm going to get some cups of pick a brick. So far, so good, I think. Okay, so we're done in the first one. Drop these back off at the car. Now to head to Leicester Square. So. Hopefully we spend some more money. Everything I needed. Now we're heading back to Westfields. Uh, we're not going to Stratford because I think we've got pretty much everything I wanted. So uh, yeah, back to Westfields. Okay, 
supposed to have been to Argos as well. You might be able to see what that is just through the bag there. But uh, we've got to pop back to the Lego store, get a couple more bits, and then we're done. Go home, and uh, I can show you what I got. So, made all the purchases, been into that Lego store twice now. Time to head home, and uh, yeah, now I'll show you what I got. So I'm back from London and I'm going to show you guys what I was buying today. I ended up spending quite a bit of money but I think with the double VIP points um, it was worth it. So first up we have Westfield's uh, Stratford Lego store. I bought two of the Christmas wreaths because they're really cool. I want to uh, build them and then join them together to make a bigger wreath and have it in the background of some uh, Christmas scene videos. So that is really cool. Um, I also got some pick -a brick there. I got three cups of pick -a brick and in these I will show you guys what they can real quick. Show you guys what I got. So the first cup is these uh, 1x2 translucent blue tiles, these look awesome um, and the reason I was getting so much pick a brick today was because um, I want them to fill up those Disney bottles that I've been collecting recently. Um, so I got yeah, 1x2 translucent blue pieces, some 1x4 black tiles because they'll be really useful uh, for mocks as well, especially like flooring and things like that so I can definitely reuse them, definitely use those for water pieces and these are 1x2 one by two. <laughs> Oops. Dark red pieces <laughs> and now all over my Brilliant. But yeah, so that was that. <laughs> Pick that up in a minute. Um, and then with the pick a brick at the moment because uh, obviously all the staff are doing it you can't go and pick it yourself they give you a free scoop to kind of compensate on you not being able to fill it right to the top however most of the pieces that I did pick today were uh, you just asked for one cup of all the pieces and so the um, so I kind of filled up the cup mostly anyway and then with uh, my free scoop I ended up just getting a hand uh, a load more of the black 1x4 tiles so that was that and then because I spent over 100 yeah it was over 100 pound I got the Mindstores promo gonna try sell that on eBay and um, also I think it's 35 spend, uh, 35 pound spend you get that um, and then because I was a VIP I also got um, the skip wrap and gift bag kind of set so sure I used that at some point over Christmas so that was the first haul from the White City Westfield I will clean up all those pieces and then I'll show you what I got from Leicester Square so now without spilling everything my purchases from the Leicester Square store I ended up getting one two three four Five, six cups of pick a brick. Um, Paige is with me and she wanted the Christmas wreath, so uh, we ended up getting that for her, which meant that I went over and uh, I got both the Mindstorm promos as well. So, yep, in the pick a brick cups, I'm gonna try to do this without, sh I might just show you them. I got more of the 1x2 um, translucent blue tiles for water and stuff. Um, I really like these trans green pieces, 1x2 bricks, so they're really cool. I got the 1x2 light bluish grey masonry bricks because they're always handy for detailing in walls uh, and stuff. I really like the technique where you um, just use them like sparingly um, throughout a wall, it just gives it a bit more texture, breaks it up a bit. I also got some 1x1 light blue studs, maybe that's the dark trans blue but this might be the light blue not quite sure but uh, the one by one bricks so that would be cool for like a waterfall thing um, these pieces I thought the flower pieces are a really nice color I think they'll look really good in the bottles and if I ever did like a Felucia mock I think these could work so um, nice to have those and then this color is awesome again another trans color um, it's the trans orange uh, two by two round brick so got a cup of those as well my free scoop 
from the pick a brick wall from uh, Leicester Square was also some more 1x4 black tiles so they're definitely going to come in handy. So originally I had planned on hitting three Lego stores, uh, both the Westfields ones and Leicester Square. However, by the time we finished at Leicester Square, it was getting quite late. Um, I had to be back and uh, yeah, it just uh, didn't really seem worth it. But before we went back to Westfields at White City, I popped into Argos and got this. This is the city passenger train. Um, I'm going to use these pieces for a mock. You probably would have seen it by the time uh, it, this comes out. It worked out like maybe £10 difference to get, by the time I would have bought track, the powered up uh, remote, the battery box, the, the train base, the wheels and stuff. Uh, yeah, it was like it worked out to be about uh, £85 worth of gear. Then plus you get all the, um, all the bricks and stuff as well. So. Got that, picked that up, and that's going to be used for my hidden side train mock. So I will put a card on the screen now if it is up by the time you're seeing it. It should be because it's going to be my last October video. Uh, so yeah, go check that out. Um, but yeah, really happy to have the passenger train. It does look really cool to be fair. Um, so maybe I will try to keep what I can build just without the power functions box. But yeah, we shall see with that. And hitting my last Lego store, technically my first Lego store because <laughs> I went back to it. Um, I went and got some train track, some added train track um, on double VIP points um, and I also got another cup of pick a brick. This one was the clear uh, five high two by one bricks. Um, these were actually hidden in the drawer, like I know when they get low on stock at the Lego stores they have um, just cups of uh, bricks already laid out in cups, like I said, because they don't put them on the menus as they call them for people to like go for a free for all for because uh, because yeah they don't have that many of them so as they were going across the, uh, the wall after I paid for my cup because something on the menu that I wanted didn't end up having any of so uh, they pulled open the drawer and I was like oh I'm gonna take them because they're really handy for putting sets on stilts or putting ships on stilts and stuff so really happy to have them and again I got a free scoop and uh, my free scoop was these green leaf pieces, which again, if I did a Felucia mock or just generally um, anything with greenery and stuff, they're gonna come in handy. And I did spend over 35 pounds. So I got another one of those promos. So I'm really happy about, no joke. Um, so yeah, that was my haul from, Stra uh, not Stratford, I keep saying Stratford, uh, from Westfield's Lego store the second time I visited it today. And this right here is everything that I got. As you can see, the first time I was at Westfields, they were a lot more generous with my free scoop. Um, but nonetheless, all parts that I'm gonna be using in mocks in the future. So yeah, pretty uh, pretty cool haul, spent a lot of money, but getting that double VIP points was definitely worth it. Um, I can't wait to build the reefs. And uh, yeah, by the time this video is out, you should have seen the uh, Hidden Side Train Mock. I'll be using parts for that and the track and stuff, so that's really cool. Going to be selling those Mindstorm sets or trying to sell them on eBay. I don't think they're worth a great deal of value, but yeah. 10 new cuts of pick -a brick and these extra um, shovels. The free scoops were um, were really, really handy because, like I said, these parts can be really, really useful in the future. So, so yeah, my pretty epic Lego store and Argos haul. So if you've enjoyed this vlog, please consider giving it a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'm Thomas, this is Tech Productions. Thanks guys, see you next time. Oh, before you go, if you enjoyed this video, how about clicking that subscribe button right here. Catch last week's episode of Tech Tuesday up there, or if you fancy something different, try this one. See you next time.